Hello everybody, welcome to Statistics and Theory. This is Dr. Vahid Aryadust. In this video I'm going to show you how to use syntax uh, of Jamovi to run your structural equation modeling analyses. As always, if you have not downloaded Jamovi, please go to this website, jamovi.org, and download either the solid or the current version of the software. I've already done that. Uh, and I, as I've discussed in previous videos, uh, I suggest that you uh, take a look at this book chapter that was published in Quantitative Data Analysis for Assessment, for Language Assessment, the second volume. Uh, the book chapter is about SEM in Language Assessment, but if uh, you're coming from a different uh, field of science, that's perfectly okay because the content in this chapter is applicable to uh, you know, all branches of science uh, in which SEM is used. Uh, so most of the, common, the, the topics that I dis, uh, discuss today are explained in details in the chapter. And uh, I have a playlist of videos on SEM and I would like you to go through them if you have not uh, watched the previous videos, especially these two which are also about SEM in Jamovi. But I didn't use syntax that much in these two videos. It just provides you a preliminary um, illustration of how to do structural equation modeling without using syntax. The model that I'm going to fit today is this model, which uh, in this video was uh, calculated or computed using Amos, another uh, software package for SEM. So I'm going to uh, replicate the same analysis this time around in Jamovi. Here is Jamovi. Here is a model that I've already, um, you know, opened. I will uh, re-estimate this. Don't worry about it. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is, of course, to open our data set. Go to this hamburger menu and click on Open and Find Your Data Set. Click on Browse and Find Your Data Set. You can uh, open a variety of different um, input files such as SPSS. The one that I have opened is an SPSS file and it didn't have any problems. Now, uh, I should also say that I am expecting to get a model like this, which means that I have four latent variables. Language, which has been represented by uh, these four um, um, indicators or observable variables. One of them is grammar. I hope you can see that. Grammar, vocabulary, uh, comprehension and uh, situational writing, the total score. I'm uh, based on my theory. I'm assuming that language scores or lang language latent variable will be predicted by uh, strategy, motivation, and positivity. Now, this is based on the theoretical framework that we are working on. Positivity has got three variables: um, positivity one, two, three. And motivation has three variables, meaning that it's being measured by three variables or indicators. Motivation one, two, three. And strategy has got five variables. Now, on the left-hand side, you can see the spreadsheet that I've already opened. I also have another variable called gender, but I'm not going to use it in this video. Uh, now I'm going to double click on this variable just to show you how you can change the names and also the type of the variable or uh, the level of measurement of the variable. Now it's very important to remember that all of these measurements should be continuous. So if, if you've got ordinal or, or uh, nominal variables, you should change into continuous because uh, otherwise you will get an error message in Jamovi. So I have done that for all of my variables as you see. Uh, all of them are continuous. Uh, feel free to change the names there. It's fine if you need to use a different sort of uh, name to or label to remember. Uh, uh, fine. Uh, it should be okay. So um, I think my uh, data is now ready for the starting of the analysis. I'm going to click on SEM. If you do not have SEM in this toolbar, what you need to do is to go to modules and uh, then click on uh, Jamovi library and under Jamovi library uh, you should be able to find SEM under available and just scroll down I think th this is, is here actually since I've already installed it you, you would you see the word installed and if uh, you have not installed it just click on it and get it 
All right, so I assume that you have already installed your SEM, so let's get started. Uh, you click on SEM, and two options are made available to you, SEM syntax. I'm going to syntax. Right, um, so we've already done that. One important uh, consideration in syntax is uh, basically a very the very simple language that's used in Jamovi, which is based on uh, the language in Levon R package. Uh, if we want to represent this part of the model, which is language, and I'm I'm gonna just draw a line around it so you can see it clearly. Um, we already know that uh, there are four variables that indicate language or measure language. So this relationship is articulated or written down in this way. Language equals tilde grammar plus vocabulary plus compre plus SW total. The whole thing that, um, is just, you know, written down in this way. So what you can do is to pause the video at the moment and go to uh, your own data set and find out the first latent variable that you want to measure if it's language or anything else uh, express it in, in, in exactly the same way so the latent variable on the left hand side equals tilde uh, the indicators or the, the items that are already there in your data sheet uh, so in this case I've got grammar plus vocabulary plus compre plus uh, writing total. The second one is positivity and in the same way I have formulated it to be uh, positivity equals tilde which means is predicted by, is measured by, or is indicated by, you know you can use different names, d different terminologies. Positivity 1 plus positivity 2 plus positivity 3 and these are those indicators make sure that the terminologies you use here are exactly the same as those that are in your data set which are like these. In the same way motivation is predicted by or is measured by motive 1, motive 2, motive 3 plus. Uh, and last but not least is strategy which is uh, indicated by or measured by strategy 1, 2, 3 and 4 and there's one more thing that's the relationship between these latent variables that I've already uh, hypothesized and I'm going to express it in this way language that's this language here is predicted by or is caused by arguably um, you know depending on whether we can make cause effect claims about the data set we have by uh, positivity motivation and strategy. You can see the visual representation of this formula right here. Language is predicted by positivity, motivation, and strategy. And this is a very interesting uh, way of you know formulating uh, your problems because uh, you simply are asking uh, Jamovi to draw a one-headed arrow from positivity to language, from uh, motivation to language, and from strategy to language. So, um, what this um, let me go to the next slide for you here. What this means is, we basically are looking at two uh, t two sections or two segments in this the whole model. One segment is as I as I've talked about. Uh, this in previous videos um, is called the measurement model and the other segment is called the structural model. The, me the, the measurement models are basically small confirmatory factor analyses. This is one measurement model, this is the second measurement model, the third one is positivity and the, th the fourth one is language. So each of them are one CFA model per se. Now uh, the structural model um, basically shows the relationship between these CFAs and the relationships are usually captured either through those one-headed arrows which you, you can see here or the two-headed arrows which are there between strategy uh, motivation and positivity as you can see those two-headed arrows um, which indicate correlations as I said so uh, regressions or cause-effect relationships are captured by one-headed arrows as you see here, 
and the correlations between those variables are captured by two-headed arrows, as you can see on this side. Thus, our structural model has got a measurement model section, which I mentioned before, and a structural model uh, which captures the relationship between all of those latent variables. And if you want to uh, define correlations between any of these latent variables, uh, well, what you can do is to use two tilde signs, tilde, tilde. So let's keep this in mind and run each of these uh, codes one at a time. So I'm going to control C and go back to my Jamovi. This is the interface. Uh, so I paste it here and just click run. And yeah, so here is our analysis. I'm going to scroll down on the, on the left hand side, go to the path diagram, because I want to get the path diagram. So you don't want to use, you don't need to use syntax anymore. You can just click and go. So path diagram is going to be generated for me. It's going to take, take some time to uh, appear, so here it is. So you can work on this path diagram to make it more appealing. Uh, so you can click on show residuals, you can click on show intercepts, so you'll get to see the intercepts as well. Uh, these are the intercepts, and the residuals are indicated by those two-headed arrows. And finally, you can basically change the number of letters that appear uh, in the indicators and the latent variable. I'm going to change it to a maximum of 10, so the abbreviation will still be uh, easy to understand. So language is represented by these four uh, indicators. Uh, so I'm not going to, uh, at this point, I'm not going to go through these uh, statistics and show you how it works. What I would like to suggest is uh, you quickly copy and paste your, your formulas that you have already written down somewhere uh, into new syntax because for each SEM, and click on this side this time around, for each SEM we need to, uh, I mean for each um, uh, measurement model we need to have uh, fit statistics. So this is going to be the second one uh, for positivity. I'm going to click run and uh, quickly go down to path diagrams if you're interested to see the path diagrams and change abbreviation to 10 and There we go, the path diagram looks pretty good. Yes. And the next one is for motivation. So I'm going to copy motivation. I'm going to click SEM syntax. And uh, here, so nothing has happened so far because I don't have the syntax. So I will just paste it here. And uh, was it motivation? Yeah. Yeah, good. And finally, I click on Path Diagrams to get the Path Diagram generated. And it has been generated already. And last but not least is Strategy. So just copy a strategy and paste it into a new syntax just to estimate the fit statistics and other attributes of this CFA or measurement model. Click on run and as it's running just uh, click path diagrams and show residuals and show intercepts just for you to have a visual understanding of how the model is doing. Now the good thing is that we have run all of these CFA models in your reports or your papers or thesis or anything that you're writing, you're supposed to provide the fit statistics for each of these measurement models. One for language, one for uh, positivity, one for motivation, and one for strategies. Um, let's assume that you have already done that. What will be the next step? The next step will be to, you know, to factor in all of these uh, lines and get your final structural equation model. So, I'm going to copy and paste. Uh, I'm going to remove this line there and highlight everything and click run. 
and go down to path diagram show residuals show intercepts and finally uh, wait for the path diagram okay here is the path diagram that you will get so this syntax has generated this path diagram for you okay so I think this is just pretty good enough in the second half of this video I'm going to discuss how to uh, make sense of these lines uh, these uh, um, options and perhaps uh, use them to write your report uh, so please watch the second section of this the second installment of the video thank you very much for your attention see you in the next video